So I had my presentation this morning, 8 a.m. Took about two hours. I forgot to record it. Yeah, so I was gonna totally start off this video with a bit of the presentation to show what it was like, and I totally forgot to record the presentation. How disappointing is that? On the brighter side, Alex, I passed. Yes! When we last spoke, I was but the learner. Now I am the master, or at least I will be once, you know, the actual ceremony comes around and they give me my degree. Then I'll be the master, and then I'm totally going to recycle that joke all over again. And, uh, and then it'll still be funny because I'm telling you right now, more people who get master's degrees should tell that joke because it is just, it's brilliant. I, I've been laughing about it for days. The presentation went really well. Uh, I think I spoke for about 40 minutes, maybe, on the study of radon and lung cancer, which would have been really interesting for you to see, but alas, I did not record it and I'm not going to do it all over again just so you can see it. Too bad. You'll just have to wait for it to be in the newspaper or get published or whatever. So after I spoke for about 40 minutes, uh, there was then the question and answer session uh, where all the three of my friends who showed up to, to view it, um, it was eight in the morning. I honestly was expecting nobody to show up, but three of my classmates and friends showed up, which was really nice. Um, and they sort of cheered me on and fired a couple low ball questions for me. Thank you. But then the questions specific to my degree popped up and those were pretty tough. It was like, what kind of study did you do? Like, was it a cross-sectional? Was it a case control study? Was it a randomized control trial? Which I nailed that one. Boom. But then they asked some tougher questions, like, do you think your bias was differential or non-differential? And I was like, oh, that was like a year ago. I don't, I don't remember that question. I don't know how to answer that. And they kind of helped me along, which was nice, because I had no idea. I think the major downside of my presentation was the fact that I didn't put the learning competencies in. So you know how when you start a program you get that handbook and it says, when you're done with this program you all know these five things. Well I couldn't remember what those five things were and I didn't put them in my presentation so I didn't discuss those five things so now I need to go back and adjust my final paper to include those five things because apparently those are pretty important to me actually getting my degree. The important thing is though, I passed. Like, I have officially passed all of my requirements. All I have to do now is finish out the classes that I'm currently in, and then I'm free. Then I have finished my master's degree and I'm on to the next next thing, which is uh, me finding a job somewhere doing something. Um, hoping for that. I'm actually applying a bunch of places um, and I may do some distance learning uh, professoring, um, so teaching distance learning programs. Anyways, Alex, I have to update my paper, otherwise they're not going to give me my degree, so I'm going to go do that. Huh, this is a nice room. I haven't been in this room for a while. Remember when I used to be in this room all the time? This is like the, the classroom that I would randomly sit in and record my videos back when we started this project like four months ago, which seems like such a ridiculously long time. Anyways, Alex. I'm going to go get to work on my paper and get caught up on some of the things that I put off while putting together my PowerPoint presentation. So I will leave it at that and I will see you.